You've got to love just how often TVS updates the RR310. For three years in a row now, I've been coming to the MMRT to see what changes TVS has made for that year. And this time around, the company has given its flagship its most comprehensive track and sport focused update to date. To be more precise, these sporty updates come as optional extras, which we'll get to soon. The actual upgrades for 2021 are relatively small, and these include a new wave key design, a slightly reworked exhaust system, and some new features for the Bluetooth-enabled TFT display. The TFT now gets a new day trip meter, the ability to store your bike's documents, and a new programmable speed warning. There's also a new dynamic rev limit indicator that adjusts the rev limiter displayed on the TFT based on the operating temperature of the engine. Basically, the TFT will show a lower rev limit if the engine temperature is too low or too high. Beyond this, the RR310 has the same mechanicals as last year, including the trellis frame and the liquid-cooled 312cc motor that produces the same 34 horsepower. For 2021, TVS has reworked the exhaust system to produce a better sound. It's similar, but the sound is cleaner and a little more sporty, with less of that rough metallic note from the old bike. However, the big news this year is that TVS has now introduced its Built to Order or BTO platform, where customers can order the RR310 as per their liking straight from the factory. Through BTO, customers can opt for this sensational looking new race livery, select between black and red wheels, and choose a race number that can be added to the windscreen. The customization options available so far definitely aren't as detailed as what Royal Enfield provides, but there is a difference because TVS is now offering two performance-enhancing kits that make the RR310 a whole lot more sporty. The first of these is the race kit, and this changes the bike's riding position. What the race kit brings is more aggressively set clip-ons, new metal foot pegs, and these foot pegs are about 30 millimeters higher up. In person, it doesn't sound as bad as race kit would make you think. It is more sporty, it is more committed, but I think you could live with this on the street if you chose to. The only thing to consider is that when you're taking U-turns, these new clip-ons will bring your hand quite close to the fuel tank. Another benefit is that the lower clip-ons on the race kit also look much better against the RR Superbike-style bodywork. TVS has also tweaked the placement of the exhaust with a new bend pipe, and along with the new foot pegs, this has helped to increase the maximum lean angle available by 4.5 degrees. That's a big deal because the earlier RR used to regularly drag its foot pegs on the racetrack, but that's no longer an issue. Now let's get to the second and even more exciting optional kit, which TVS calls the Dynamic Kit. In addition to a nice looking brass coated chain, this brings in full preload, compression and rebound adjustability for the upside down fork, while the monoshock is now adjustable for preload and rebound damping. TVS keeps taking the game forward with the RR310. And to have a fully adjustable front suspension setup at this price point is pretty awesome. How does it feel against the old bike? Well, there is a small but clear difference and essentially the suspension feels more controlled when you're really pushing it hard. Now the thing with adjustable suspension is the possibilities are infinite. It depends on rider weight, rider skill, tyre pressures and all of us found a different setting that seemed to work for us. TVS really needs to make sure that they can teach their customers how to properly use the suspension. Because while adjustable suspension lets you dial in the bike nicely, it can also really make you mess the bike up if you don't know what you're doing. It's not like the suspension now simply has some adjustment screws on top, and TVS says they've completely reworked the internal valving system as well. The idea is to offer a similar performance curve between comfort and handling, but the adjustability will give riders a wider range of damping control and the ability to fine-tune where on that curve they would like the suspension to be set. We had a couple of track sessions with the bike, and by the second session with the suspension set up to each rider's liking, the RR felt faster steering, beautifully composed and more controlled overall. The bike continues to ride on those excellent Michelin Road 5 tyres, which grip really well in the dry and perform superbly in the wet. The riding experience is otherwise very similar to the old bike, with a responsive and rev-happy engine, but one that continues to produce a buzzy feeling in the handlebar, fuel tank and foot pegs. If anything, 
we'd have liked to see some changes made to the brakes as well in the dynamic package, maybe in the form of a bigger disc or more aggressive pads. As things stand, these brakes are good, but they're not outstanding. The only issue I have with the RR carries over from last year's BS6 upgrade. I find the throttle response in track and sport mode is a little too sharp, which makes it tricky to gently modulate the throttle in higher speed corners. Throttle response in road mode is much easier to get along with, but sadly, this reduces the power output to 25 HP, which is pointless on the track. That aside, I thoroughly enjoy the benefits from both the optional kits, and if you're an existing RR310 customer, you can too. Another thing that's nice is that you don't need to buy the full kits if you don't want to. TVS says they'll sell you individual components based on what you want. And the best part is that even the earlier generation RR310 customers can have some of these parts if they're compatible with their bike. TVS hasn't yet released what the individual prices of these components will be, but the company has said how much it will cost if you buy the kits via the BTO platform. The base bike now costs Rs 2.6 lakh X showroom, which is about 5,000 rupees more than before. Adding both the optional kits will increase the price by 17,000 rupees, which brings it right up there with the KTM RC390 that currently costs rupees 2.8 lakhs. However, there is a new RC just around the corner, and its price is probably going to go up. TVS says that a bike ordered via BTO will take between 1 and 2 months to reach the customer and that for now, BTO bikes will be restricted to 100 units per month, although the company is going to make that 150 units for the first two months. BTO starts off with the RR310, but TVS says that more models will be added to this program in the future. As for now, we still need to see how these changes to the RR feel on the road but there's no doubt that these new kits have definitely increased the RR's appeal as an overall package. The RR310 has always been a very sweet-natured yet capable motorcycle, but with these two optional kits in place, its track capability has gone up a big step. I have never enjoyed riding an RR310 on the racetrack as much as I have today. And this bike is now equipped to take the fight on to that upcoming KTM RC390. Chennai. Okay, let me just think one second, what I want to say. It's not a tandoor, it's a very slow cook. By tomorrow, I'll be done. <laughs>